Welcome back. Now, our next guest is a model turned blogger turned entrepreneur. The celebrity MasterChef contestant has recently dusted off her apron with the hope of baking to support Dogs Trust annual Pup Cake Day. Pup Cake Day. Right, former Miss Ireland Holly Carpenter and one of her pals, Baron, joins us with more uh, on the event. Look good morning Baron. to you. How Whoa. are you? Hi, Holly. Hi, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Good, wow. good. So tell us about Baron, first of all, Holly. Oh, Baron is eight. And he's one of the gorgeous dogs in Dogs Trust. In Dogs Trust. Yeah. So you have dogs yourself, but they're on I their do. jollies at the moment. They're on their holidays in the south of France, living the dream. But they all came from the Dogs Trust as well, the three of them. Okay. So I've got Toby, Gus and Juno. And they all have their own little stories of how they ended up in Dogs Trust. But um, ever they're since... off living their best life in the south of France. Yeah, living You're the dream. here working. Well. I know. <laughs> so it's clearly something that, that means a lot to you. Yeah. That's presumably why you got involved. When you were approached about know. it, it was probably it was a no-brainer for you. It's an absolute no-brainer, and I think for people these days to fundraise, it can be hard sometimes because Dogs Trust has absolutely no government funding. So they're always thinking of new initiatives of like, how can we make this fun for people yeah. to raise money for the dogs? Yeah. So everyone loves cupcakes. Everyone loves like having tea and chats and everything. So literally. The simplest thing, if you could sell 12 cupcakes, that's enough to fully vaccinate a dog. Really? If you can sell 24 cupcakes, that's enough to feed an, a litter of puppies for a whole week. Wow. So the impact you can have is absolutely huge. And it's... By it's doing not... something very simple. Exactly, yeah. So what do you suggest people do? Well, if they go to dogstrust.ie, they can see how they can apply to get their little pack and they'll get a little apron and some recipes. I've put in a little uh, blueberry muffin recipe. Nice. And um, it's just so simple. It's also eco-friendly as well if they want to just download it themselves. We're all worried about now paper and plastic Very and good. everything. Yes. And just have their friends <clears throat> over and have tea and people can make little donations and it's just... So it's kind of like a coffee morning. Yeah, exactly. But you're encouraging people to bake. Yeah. So and I presume then they can buy. post pictures of what they baked and they can share them on social media. And exactly, yeah. It's yeah. nice an easy one to start off with two muffins. Because yeah. you're a bit of a baker, aren't you? Your bacon's your thing. Well, is it though? It is, isn't it? <laughs> I try. Well, we've given yeah, you we a bit of this morning because <laughs> in one of the reads it says the first to be voted off. I thought that was very unfair. Celebrity MasterChef. So you were in the same celebrity Yeah, but we never Master met. We Simon. never know. We filmed on different Because we were in different heats, yeah. To this yeah. day, I still think it was harsh that I went first. Well, yeah. I, what was it you cooked? What happened? Well, I cooked a Malteser mm. cheesecake right. yeah, with yeah, glitter yeah. and everything yeah, on yeah. it. So I was the only one who didn't do meat and two veg. So I kind of yeah, went yeah. a different route. But um, it's so scary. Like, it I'm is sure scary. You, you got quite far. But got to the final, yeah. yeah it's it's very scary. Far. Very far, yeah. Very scary. The two lads are imposing. You know what the I mean? The minute they're... they say you've 10 minutes left and you're just like, what? I know, because you think everything's grand. La, yeah. la, 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 I'm cooking, having a bit of crack. Yeah, and they so... go, four minutes left. <laughs> and oh, and to luck. be honest, I think from a viewer's <clears throat> point of view, you often think, ah, there, there isn't really that pressure. Do you know mm, what I mean? Is, or yeah. they, they stop the clock and let the guys do, you know. No, 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 but it is very much as we see it. And then when you stand there and they line up at the end and they're saying, Oh, I started and crying because you've been there filming like I for know. 10 hours you're emotionally yeah. exhausted <laughs> you're trained. Yeah, and yeah. then like you think it's the most important thing in the world because yeah. you're well, so it caught up in the time. moment it is. Yeah. I know it so is so that's why though, when yeah. I watch the X Factor or anything like that I feel for those people yeah, because yeah. I used to think god they're so dramatic but now yeah. I'm like okay I understand they're probably just because <laughs> you, you've the, been the juicers through the pain everything whip you up like yeah yeah you do get caught up in it yeah <laughs> when is the pup cake day so dogs just are having theirs next Friday but you can have yours any day next week that you that suits you yeah OK, and all people have to do is go onto their website. They down, they can either download or get the packs sent out. Yeah, get the packs sent out. And cook whatever you want, really. Basically, yeah. It's I mean, a very clever, clever initiative, and I didn't realise that. If you said, what, 12 cupcakes? It's yeah. enough to cover one vaccination. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's, not, that's not huge money, is no, it? It's no, not, not at all. No, um, that's brilliant. And Holly, Look you have, parent. as well as being a well-known blogger, um, you've launched your own business. I have, yeah. Tell us about that. So I launched Love Lift about a year, well, a year ago now, yeah. And it, it started off as a jewellery collection. That's mm -hmm. what I studied in college in NCAD was textiles and ceramics, glass and metals. So I got to learn a lot about how jewellery is made and all of that. Then I ended up taking a complete different route. Woo! Oh, <laughs> oh, Baron's getting comfy. So the Baron Come took here. a complete different I route I took a well. different route when I won Miss Ireland. Ooh. And um, I ended up leaving college modeling, working full time in that way. But I like at the time, I didn't realize that all the co connections I was making, like makeup artists, editors, yeah, yeah. photographers, they all have been They're so all helpful essential to me now. connections. Yeah, so really I built are, up such they? a great book of people who I had done favors for, they'd done favors for me. And it's just like, you can't buy that. No. So then when I brought out Love Lift, um, 
they were all there and it, yeah so basically i don't know i'm rambling now but we've now launched we've spread out we've got a handbag collection we've got um keep cups we've got silky robes so it's becoming a whole kind of brand now which is really exciting we're which in like lovely. you know i think baron can see an imaginary mouse somewhere he can he's, yeah he's getting he's excited, getting very excited. He? so you've diversified <laughs> 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 he, like, bit my nose <laughs> uh, but how have you found the launching a website launching the business realizing how tough it is because yeah. it can seem much easier on the outside. Oh, on the outside, just... yeah. And it's terrifying as well because you kind of always worry what people are going to think. Are people going to like it? Is it going to go down well? You have mm -hmm. that fear. Um, and it's a, it's a daily thing. You're always... Because when I was modelling, I loved modelling in one way, but I never had any creative control mm -hmm. or any say in what hair colour I was, what dress size I was. I had no say in any of that. So I always wanted to have something where I was in charge. I could decide the final say in all these things. And now I have it. And it makes it so much more scary because I have no one else to kind of pin it on if it doesn't go well. Of course, it's your responsibility. Yeah. But yeah. you have say over it. You have full creative control, which is Absolute, yeah. why you're doing And like it. the logo of the brand is the tattoo I have, which oh, I got very good. in Berlin one day. Um, of course Which is, is a light yeah. bulb, is it? it no, hearts? some people think no. it's a light bulb. Parachute? It's a, it's a hot air balloon. Yeah. Balloon. It's a hot balloon. Yeah. air balloon. I know, the yeah. tattoo guy well, wasn't great. Well, the light bulb could be a spark, you know. Yeah, yeah. you never know. So yeah, like Brain when I was wave. looking for the logo for the brand, I was like, what am I going to do? I want it to be like an uplifting, positive message. And it's all about self-love. And I think that's something that women struggle with sometimes, especially young girls. And like a lot of my followers would be quite young. So I'm always encouraging yeah. them to just give themselves a break, especially when I was modeling, I'd meet the most beautiful women I've ever seen. And they were so self-conscious about different mm. things. Things that you'd never notice, they're like, oh, I have a terrible chin. And you're like, what? And they're like, oh yeah. You know, like women, we're all like, and men so too, it's hard. But it's harder now these days, we're all comparing ourselves to each other on Instagram and all of that too. So it's just a little reminder to just kind of go easy on yourself. Mm -hmm. And like, we're all in it together. Like I always want to support women. And I think you get further when you stand together, definitely. I don't yeah. feel like I'm in competition with anyone in that way. Yeah, yeah. you're very honest with your followers because mm -hmm. you know, they, as you say, are younger. Um, they, they'll be very influenced by someone yeah. like you. Yeah. And you know, people like you, can look, can, it can appear like you have a very perfect life. Definitely. Your home is perfect, your hair is perfect, your body's perfect, you know, and it all seems very unattainable, I think, for younger people. So Definitely. that honest voice is, is very important, it's isn't it? It's so true. And I have to remember that when I'm looking at other girls' Instagrams and they're on holidays again, or they're with their amazing boyfriend, or whatever it is, and I have to go, okay, look, not everything is as it seems. There's been times where I've been going through absolute hell, but I can put up a pretty selfie and it can get loads of likes and people will tell me, you look amazing, you're so beautiful, but it doesn't mean anything because they don't know what's, what's going happening. on that day, yeah. Yes. So it's all just smoke and mirrors. And I know that if I can do that, other people can do that too. So it's nice to sometimes just say, do you know what, I had a terrible day today, yeah. didn't work out well. I hope tomorrow's better, but like maybe you guys did too. And then I get messages or if it's about body confidence, like there's been times where I'm like, do you know what, I actually was invited to this event, but I couldn't go because I didn't feel nice enough. You know that way? And then yeah girls would be like, oh, I feel like that too. And I think yeah. X, Y, and Z. And I look at them and they're like 18 year old girls. And I'm like, I'm so glad I didn't have social media when I was in school. Like yeah. I had Bebo and I Facebook towards the end of sixth year. <coughs> like the pressure, the pressure is crippling. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah it's it scares just a very me. perfect world to try and mm. aspire to if you live in your phone in Instagram. Yeah, exactly. And So remind us then, next Friday is <laughs> Pup Cake Day. Yes. And people can just pop onto the website and get involved and raise loads of money for the dogs. The doggies, yeah. And think about Dogs Trust <clears throat> if you're thinking about exactly. getting a dog. Oh, 100%. Think rescue dog, right? Adopt <clears throat> Stone Shop. I yes. can't even speak to anyone who would buy a dog. I can't. There you Adopt go. She's not sitting on the fence on that one. No, she's no. Not, no. <laughs> Holly, lovely to see you. Thanks you too. for coming Thanks in. Thank you, Holly. And good luck with Thanks, everything. Guys. Thanks, Thanks Baron. You. Right, after the break, it's the type of furniture you'd expect to see Don Draper resting on. We'll be checking out mid-20th century fittings at the Antiques Fair next. I heard tunes. nothing after Don.